I'm Kit Rich, your trainer, and this is Kitchgo. This workout is intense. It's all core, super concentrated, but it's quick. So stay with me. Let's do it. Come down to the floor. You're gonna want you to grab your Kitchgo sliders. The first one is my signature baby plank, but taken up a notch. So notice that Giovanna's shoulders are right over her wrists. Her uh, wrists are shoulder width apart. Her knees are directly underneath her hips and hip width apart. From here, she's gently gonna pull her lower abs in and just take her knees six inches off the mat, holding that, her feet are on the sliders. She's gonna pull her knees in and go for little circles of those legs, tiny little circles. Notice nothing else is moving in the body. Pull your lower abs in and up. Not easy, I need you to breathe. You're gonna do this for five more seconds in this direction and then we're gonna reverse it. You got it? You're good. She's like, oh my gosh, and let's go. Reverse, in and out. Lower abs, pull in and up, so you don't wanna scoop into that lower back. Stay with it. You have 10 seconds left on the clock and you get a break. Almost there, looking good. This is five, four, three, two. Rest your knees down, whoa. Circle out your wrists. Well done, well done. So the next move is gonna be a pike to plank. You're gonna bring your hands, actually let's come down onto your forearms. If you wanna do it on your hands, you can. Try it on your forearms. If you can bring your forearms a little bit more forward, she's gonna come into a plank position, keeping her feet on the sliders. She's gonna lift her hips up, pulling the Kitchko sliders in and then dropping back down. Big exhale as you lift up and dropping down. Continue on your own. Your goal is to keep your legs straight. So if you can't pull in all the way, that doesn't matter. You do the best you can. But you do wanna feel those lower abs. You do wanna breathe deeply. You have 15 seconds left on the clock. Yes, you can. You do not give up now. This is short and this is quick. Remember that, you've got this. Almost there for five, four, three, two, and rest down. Take that break. Come on up off your forearms. Make sure you give that upper body a little bit of a rest rolling the shoulders. Now we're gonna do a little knee tuck. Let's stay on your hands for this one. I wanted to give your wrists a little bit of a break on the last one, come a little bit more forward so you have plenty of room. You're gonna come back off your knees, you're on the sliders, you're gonna bend your knees in on an exhale and then push it back out, bend in. You thought that last one worked your lower abs? Wait till you do this one, wait a minute, no, you're already doing it. Do you feel that? Pull in as you tuck in. Big exhale as you tuck in. Yes, you can. You're already in it. You don't quit now. Not when it's just so little time left. 10 seconds on the clock. Beautiful. Stay in it. Yes, you got it. Push up out of those arms. This is five, four, three, two, and rest your knees down. Shake out your wrists. You have one more thing on your arms and then we're on your back. Stay with it. You good? Totally. Okay, we're gonna do mountain climbers going to opposite elbows to get those obliques. Come back onto your hands, coming off your knees. Come, yep, beautiful, and begin. Cross twist. Slow or fast doesn't matter as long as you feel it, but I do want you to push yourself. I want you to know what your value is, what you're worth, and you don't know until you try something, until you push back past what you, know, you think you're not capable of. Keep going. This is 10 seconds to go. Twist. Breathe, lift out of your shoulders for five, four, three, two, and one, drop down, rest. All right, lie onto your backs for me. You wanna keep those sliders, we're gonna use them. So you lie down onto your back, resting. Notice that her heels are in the center of the Kitchko sliders, flexing your feet. Yeah, you wanna feel like you have a good, strong grip there. You're gonna place your hands behind your head, coming into a crunch position just to the tips of the shoulder blades. From here, she's gonna pull both heels out and then squeeze it in. Doesn't seem like it's working the abs, but it is. You have to use those lower, lower abs and stay stable in those hips to really drive those heels into the floor and pulling in, getting off those shoulders. Try a few more here. Give me two more. Good, next one, you're gonna hold it at the top and run it out one leg at a time. This is great. After this, you have one more move. Yes, you can. This is 10, nine, stabilize. You got it, I'm gonna give you a break after this. You have five, four, three, two, one. Rest it down, legs are extended straight. I know, she had to take a deep breath. I'm sure you did too. Well done. Hands behind your head. 
On this one, if you can, when the knees pull in, you're gonna crunch up all the way and then drop back down. Go for it, big exhale, crunch up. Oh, what was I thinking after all that? Exhale, crunch and down. If you can't come up all the way, that's okay. Maybe it's just a few inches today and that's fine. Just breathe, do what you can. This is beautiful, I'm okay with this. Give me five more seconds. Give me one more. You got this, you're done. Breathe, great work. 